Welcome to Tiberius Den, everyone. My name is Whitney, and welcome back to another Cast Monday. Today, we are loosely carrying on with our different stereotypes, and we are doing the stereotype of the spinsters. I say loosely because I'm going to be basing these guys off of a couple of my favorite spinsters from popular culture, and that is the ants from Practical Magic and then the ants from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. So I'm really excited, and as you can see, I did make Mariella here a spellcaster along with her sister, since we are basing them off of the Practical Magic Ants and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I felt that was really important because obviously both those sets of ants are witches. And so I did want to give these guys aspirations that didn't necessarily match the spinsters. And that kind of goes back to the practical magic. So for Mariella here, I gave her the big happy family aspiration. And she's more of my lighthearted, free, happy aunt. And so she's a bit absent-minded. She's cheerful and she is good. Those are the traits I gave her. And... For these guys, I really wanted to give them the aspirations. So for Mariella, like I said, she wants a big happy family. For her sister, her sister wants to find her soulmate. And that's because I am basing these guys more off the ants from Practical Magic. That is one of my favorite movies of all time. I absolutely love it. I watch it frequently. I couldn't even tell you how many times I've, I've watched it. And in that movie, the ants the family's cursed and so if they do find love they lose their loves and so that's kind of the storyline I'm going with for these guys as well and I'm also going to be creating a third sibling and that third sibling's children because in both Practical Magic and Sabrina the Teenage Witch they are taking care of a sibling's children and so I really wanted to go down that line as well. And so I will be creating a third sibling who does end up dying tragically. And then these guys are left to take care of her children. And so they are spinsters, but they do have a couple of children to look after as well. And Mariella, and it's her twin sister. And then their third sibling's children are also twins. Uh, is what I went with for the storyline. And so for Mariella here, you can see I'm just putting on some skin details, giving her some lashes. I also wanted to kind of give them an aspect not only where they may be picked on because they are magical, but they also kind of look a little bit different. And so I wanted to give them a very unique feature, and I did that with their eyes. And so their eyes are actually orange. And all of them have those eyes. All three siblings and then the two children have those orange eyes. And I really wanted to do that. And so that way, you know, not only, like I said, were they maybe made fun of because they're magical and a little bit different, but also their eyes are very different as well. So they kind of have a, f a future about them that's very different and kind of gets, gets them teased as well. And then they're also unlucky in love. And so they haven't had an easy life for sure. So for her, I gave her a little bit more of a loose flowing hairstyle. Like I said, she's kind of more of the free spirit. And I found these glasses and I absolutely love them on her. So she wears her glasses as well. And I can kind of see her being like a, a librarian, but kind of just like the goofy, lighthearted librarian. And so you know, if I do give them careers, I might go something along that route for her. Um, but I just, I find her absolutely beautiful and I really enjoyed creating her. Um, and then I'm going to give her makeup but for some reason. Whatever skin detail I used was messing with my makeup. And so I pretty much can only use some of the custom content makeup that would actually show up on her which was a little bit frustrating and definitely limited me to what I could use um, and then some of the lipsticks didn't want to show up either but I was able to find some lipsticks that that did work and she's a bit bolder anyway I think in her looks I think she definitely doesn't mind standing out a little bit and so some of her her eyeshadows and her lipsticks are a little bit bolder as well. This looks not too much. This is her everyday look, and so I didn't go 
too over the top, but I definitely wanted to capture that a little bit as well. Um, and then her earrings, I didn't really give her earrings. I did on a couple of her outfits, and that's just because with the, her hair, they really didn't show up anyway. But I figured she would like to, to wear earrings and accessorize a little bit as well. Um, but I only gave her earrings for a couple outfits, and they kind of just barely peeked through her hair. So that was a little bit frustrating. And at first, I wasn't really sure what style I was going to go for with her, what style looks I wanted to go for. I knew, you know, I wanted to keep it somewhat simple, but I didn't really know what I was going for at the same time. Um, and then as I kind of went through her outfits, I definitely developed her character a little bit more. So she definitely likes a little bit of some bold colors, but... Also, at the same time, pretty simple and comfortable as well. But she doesn't mind standing out a little bit. The bullying and such they experienced as children and then not being able to find love and really struggling there didn't affect her as much as her sister. She still has a pretty optimistic outlook and she's still pretty bright and vibrant as well. Uh, and then I, of course, wanted to paint her nails. Her sister ends up not having any painted nails or anything like that. So now we are moving on to her formal look. And I get it, keep it pretty simple again, but in kind of a bold color, which you will see. I really like this dress. I just don't like the way it kind of sits on the Sims. I've tried to use it several times and it just... I don't like the way it kind of bunches. And then the other dress that you saw there was just a little too old school. Again, I really liked it. But I went with this one. Pretty simple and straightforward. But again, kind of bold. And, and definitely makes her stand out a little bit. And then I, of course, trying to find, find shoes is always a struggle. And I was trying to think of what shoes I wanted to go with. Did I want to try to go with flats or did I want heels? Um, and I ended up going with heels and I was able to find some that matched the dress there, as you see, pretty, pretty close in, in color there as well. Um, and then again, just a little bit of accessorizing, nothing too over the top. Um, she does, she doesn't go, she's not too extravagant. She is bold, but not too over the top with it, I would say so. Um, and then just finding some makeup that went with the dress. It was, it was hard because like I said, I was limited in what would show up, but at the same time I needed it to match her outfits as well. And so I found this pink eyeshadow and I thought it went, went fairly well. And then I just gave her a little bit of liner and then I did find a lipstick that works really, really well with this dress. And so I'm pretty Pretty happy with the lipstick I ended up finding. Because um, like I said, it, it does work well with the dress. But here I was trying to find something that worked, but they don't all show up. And so I do end up going, I think it's with, is it the custom content? I don't think it's with the custom content. I think I ended up going with the MAC lipstick. Yes, there it is. So so I thought that, that was a nice look and it all kind of ties together. If you've watched my previous videos, you know I don't really wear a whole lot of makeup in real life. And so sometimes it's hard for me to get get the looks right. But I like how this looked. I think it looked pretty nice on her. And so now we are on to her athletic wear. She would still wear her glasses, of course, but not necessarily any makeup. And I just went with a simple hoodie in a bright color. And then, again, just simple pants. But, of course, I had to look around and see if there's anything that I liked a little bit better. So, I just went with these capris here. And then I found some shoes that match as well. And pretty pretty simple and straightforward. I don't see her being much on working out too much. She might go for a little jog or something like that. But she's not hit, hitting the gym by any means, I would say. so. Um, and then, of course, I had to do her, her nails again. And then for her sleepy wear, I went, again, pretty pretty simple and straightforward. Just something very cozy and comfy. I really like this one, but it was too a little too seasonal for me. And so I ended up going with this look here. Again, a little bit seasonal, but I think with the colors, it, it kind of works. It, 
if it had been like a blue or a red or a green, it would have been a little bit too Christmassy. But I think with the brown color, I think it worked nicely. And then for a party look, I did kind of go a little bit more bold and extravagant. I mean, she's been pretty bold throughout her looks. But I think with the accessories on this one with the shirt and the jewelry on the neck there, I think it's definitely a little bit more bold. And then I found some boots that definitely definitely stand out as well and then her makeup as well is is a bit bold so I really really like her look here I think it's fun and I can see her see her rocking it for sure so um pretty pretty happy and the boots I ended up going in with black just because the pinks didn't quite match to what I wanted but I did find this pink eyeshadow and I went with the pink lip again so Again, she definitely, definitely stands out in a crowd and she doesn't mind drawing attention even though they've been picked on in the past. And then for her swimwear, I went pretty basic. Uh, I don't think she would be too comfortable showing off her body. And so I ended up going with this swimsuit here that kind of covers a little bit more. It's not like a full-on bikini or anything. It is a two-piece, but it definitely covers a little bit more as well. And then for her hot weather wear, pretty simple. I actually went with the dress right here in pink and then just some white flip-flops. And I actually used the ice cream earrings, which you'll see here in a second. I've wanted to use those earrings for so long, but I've never found a sim that it really worked for and I thought it worked really well for her and this look so I do end up going with the ice cream earrings originally I was gonna do pink but I didn't like that light pink so I ended up going with the earrings in white and you can see I'm just barely peeking through so I really like that and then for her her makeup kept it pretty simple uh, I think I just went with a lipstick that kind of had a glossy look to it because again it was kind of glitching with my skin details. Um, so I just went pretty simple there. And I don't remember if I did the eyeshadow or not, but it doesn't really matter. And then for cold weather work, I just went with a basic kind of sweatshirt, kind of a knitted sweatshirt, and these pants, and then some boots as well. So nothing, again, too extravagant. She's a little bit mu more muted down, but the pants with that red color definitely kind of stand out as well. Uh, and so that is her looks. Like I said, pretty, pretty bold, but not too extravagant either. So um, I'm pretty happy overall with with her look and how she turned out. I think she's definitely very cute, and I'm excited to see her in my world for sure. So now I am going to be creating her twin sister here, and her name is Marissa. So uh, I gave them M names all across the board, but with Marissa, she's more of the kind of uptight, serious sister. She's still pretty confident, but she definitely, I think, has a chip on her shoulder from the bullying and such they had as children and then struggling to find love. So she does want her soulmate. She is self-assured. She is family-oriented. And then I also gave her the neat trait just because I really wasn't sure what to give her for the last trait. And I figured that kind of went along with being a little bit more serious and uptight. So that's what I went with for her. And for her look, she's a little bit more classic and scaled back. She's not quite as bold as her sister, but she still, she would still stand out for sure. Um, she doesn't necessarily hide in her fashion, but she's definitely not as quite into the loud colors and such as her sister is. So for her, I did like the little mole that it had generated originally. So I knew I wanted to keep that, but with the skin details, it was kind of, it was hard to find skin details that worked with that. And then also her eyelashes and her mole 
messed with each other, so I ended up giving her her little mole, but I had to give her her eyelashes and makeup, which I really hate doing because then you have to go through and put them on every single look. They don't just auto-generate all across the board, so that always really frustrates me, but I knew I wanted that mole, so I decided to to do that and then put on her eyelashes all the way across the board. And then for her hairstyle, I wanted, I didn't want it kind of as loose and flowing as her sister's, so I ended up going with this hairstyle here. I thought it was still very cute, and I liked the little bangs on it, but it was straighter and more, not uptight, like, it just wasn't as loose and flowing, so I think it kind of really represents their different styles for sure. You know, she has it straightened and just very put in place where her sister's is just kind of all over the place. So that's kind of what I went with there. And then for her makeup, luckily her makeup worked nicely, but I did try to keep it a little bit more understated. And so like light colors, nothing too loud or outrageous and then I didn't go too over the top with like lipsticks or jewelry or anything like that and then her nails are not painted so I kept kept it pretty basic with her she does you know wear a little bit of blush and then light pink like she likes the lighter colors for sure um but I did like these earrings I think it gave her those earrings on most of her outfits other than like her sleepwear and things like that. And then she has this necklace on a lot of her outfits as well. And then I was just trying to find something very simple and kind of clean looking for her everyday wear. So I ended up going with this top um, in light pink. It is a little bit off the shoulder. So just simple details like that kind of add a little character to it but still very clean and polished looking as well and then I gave her some slacks and a little bit of heeled booties as well to go with the look um, I thought that was really really nice and now I'm working on her formal wear of course so again pretty light makeup just a light eyeshadow and very light understated lips as well and I ended up not giving her a dress for this look. I went with this top here and I go with slacks again. And then I do put her in heels for this look. I thought that looked really, really good together. And so that's her formal look. Um, a little bit more clean and polished than her sister's. And then for her workout outfit, I could see her actually working out unlike her sister. So I did give her these workout pants and then I was just trying to find a top that I thought went well with them. And so I actually ended up going with this top. I tried on a few others, but I go back to that top because I liked how the gray bra matched the pants and then it's still showing off the green band on the pants as well. And of course, white goes with it just fine. So that's what I ended up going for there. And then her sleepwear, just some basic shorts. And I just go with the top. I actually have a custom content top that says you say which like it's a bad thing. And that's actually from some custom content that I got for, for it's, it's, custom content Sabrina the Teenage Witch custom content and so I thought that would that really fit in since I was kind of using those characters as some insp inspiration for these guys um and so I really like that and then for her party look again very clean there's some detailing on the top of her shirt and then some basic pants and then I go with I think I ended up going with boots I can't remember for sure um because I didn't like how any of the sandals really looked with the outfit so I ended up going with these boots here which I really really liked as well and then for her makeup again pretty simple I do give her her little earrings and her necklace which again I use those a lot on her different outfits I don't think she would change her jewelry or anything too often and then I give her green eyeshadow and then again just some Basic lipstick, nothing too over the top or anything like that. Um, I kind of messed around with the eyeshadow a couple times trying to find the right green one that I wanted to use. But in the end, I'm pretty pretty happy with how it turned out. 
And then, like, like I said, her lips are pretty, pretty basic there. Nothing too over the top. Not like her sister who likes to wear loud and, and bold lipsticks. Um, I decided to do that. And then for her swimwear, I actually go with the full body swimwear and I go with this one here. I like the green and it's a little bit covered up. Um, I don't think she would necessarily be swimming too much, but she wouldn't be showing off her body a whole lot either in the sand. And I thought about using that dress, but I had used it on my rainbow sim, my green rainbow sim. So I didn't want to use that. And so for her hot weather look, I went with this. I thought it was really cute with the collared shirt. I decided to go with kind of a green theme, if you can't tell, on her. So I went with this one. I like the little green collared shirt and the skirt that it went with. I really like that. So that's what I ended up going with. And then it's just some flip flops. Um, and then, of course, her little gold hoops. Um, I like those, the tiny ones. And then just basic eyeshadow again. And just a very basic lip as well. So nothing... Nothing too over the top for her. Like I said, she's pretty, pretty understated in, she pays attention to the details. So the details really bring her looks together, but she's not as bold as her sister is. And then I just went with this for her cold weather look. I really liked it. And then just finding some boots that kind of match the turtleneck underneath there. And then I like this eyeshadow because it kind of had a grayish green tint to it, which I thought was really nice. And then again, her just her little gold earring. So that is her look. And for their, tw not their twin, these two are twins and then they have a younger sister. Um, so I do create her, Michaela. You'll see her here in a second. And for Michaela, I did not do her looks because... I knew she wasn't going to be in this world. I was just creating her because, like I said before, I do have the Slice of Life mod installed. And so I wanted that memory system. So I wanted their children to have the memory of losing their mother and the aunts to have that as well. So when I do place them down in the world, I ended up cheating her death. And I actually make her, she dies by death by overcharge as a spellcaster and I thought that was fitting and her children maybe are scared of magic because of that and so they might not really practice magic because they saw their mother die from magic and so I'm definitely probably going to go down that route for their characters and if I do any let's play with them that's what it's going to be like. And so for her, I'm just basically kind of tweaking her looks a little bit to make sure that she matches her sister. So when I create her children, their looks are very similar and they all kind of match and go together. Um, and so I wanted to make sure that her hair color was right. And then, of course, her skin tone and skin details kind of fit as well. She's a little bit lighter in her skin tone than her sister's, but... Um, past that I didn't do anything to do her outfits or anything because it really didn't matter. It was just more getting the right look for the genetic component for the children. And so I continued on with the M names for these guys as well. So we have Madison here, which you'll see here in a second. And then for her, she's my social one. So she's social and she's talkative. And she's going to be the more outgoing one. Her mother's death affected her, but like her aunt Mariella, she doesn't really let it hold her back at all, where her sisters kind of let it affect her a lot more. Um, so for Madison, I wanted to make her very cute, and she would like like a cute look, and you know, just kind of over the top. She would definitely like her accessories. So she has little heart earrings. And then I like this hairstyle with the little clips and the braids as well. And then I thought this was really cute with the scarf. And then just finding the boots that kind of matched and went with it. And so that's her everyday look. And then for her formal look, 
she her colors more of like yellows and pinks um like i said she really really kind of likes to look cute and stand out she's a little bit more bold she's she's definitely more of the free spirit she takes after her, her aunt mariella so again all her looks have the little heart earrings i thought those were really cute and then for her athletic wear i went with this cute little pineapple tank and shorts i love that outfit i think it's so adorable and i can see kids in real life wearing that sometimes the outfits in the sims you're like nobody would actually wear that but for her that outfit specifically i can see kids wearing that all the time so i definitely thought it would look really cute on her and then she has her little bunny rabbit jammies and slippers i thought those were cute as well and then for her party look, I went with this really cute dress and with the little cat on it and the little hearts on the sleeves. I thought that was really adorable. And then for her swimwear, I went with the polka dots again in yellow. Like I said, she wears a lot of yellows and pinks. Um, and then for her hot weather, I wanted to find a dress that I thought was really cute, but not too girly and floofy. And so I like this one. It has the little bees on the jacket. I thought that was really cute. And then I did the sandals. I was going to go with the flip-flop, but I ended up going with these sandals here. With the little flowers, and I thought the colors tied in nicely to that dress. And then for her cold weather look, I gave her this cute little jacket. And then just basic pants and boots. Again, nothing, nothing too over the top. Um, but I thought she was... She was really cute, and I did the brown boots to kind of tie into her brown buttons on her jacket. So that is Madison, and then I'm going to create her twin sister. Like I said, I didn't want them to be twins as well, and I kind of struggled with what I wanted to name her because I didn't want it too close to Madison's name, and so I liked this name originally, but... Madeline and Madison are so close so I decided not to use that name at all and I actually go with I can't remember what I, I think Marilyn did I go with Marilyn we'll find out here in a second together I can't remember there was so many names that I wanted to use and I liked but it just didn't either fit with the rest of the family or oh I go with Megan that's what I went with I ended up going with Megan so she's Megan um Horton and then for her she has the smarts so she has the mental aspiration and then she's a bookworm and I thought about giving her some glasses but I just didn't like the way they really looked on her and so I do give her earrings and then she has this little necklace that she likes to wear so I give her those on several of her outfits um, and I really like this, and I actually ended up giving that for her hot weather. I didn't like it for her everyday wear, but I thought that was really cute for her hot weather look. So I do end up using that outfit, just not for this. And so for her color, she likes blues and like probably grays and such. Um, like I said, she doesn't... She, she's a little bit more reserved and, and quiet than her sister, so that would definitely be reflected in her outfits as well. And then for her formal look, <laughs> I didn't realize I was giving this for her formal look. I really liked it, but I probably would not have gone with a knitted dress for her formal look if I had realized, um, but I really liked it, and so I ended up I ended up keeping that anyway, so, <laughs> um, so that's her formal look. And then for her workout outfit, just a tee with a shirt and a long sleeve shirt and then some capris. And then just regular old shoes there. And for her jammies, I gave her this little blue number here. Very cute. I really liked it. And so that's her. And then I realized her eyes weren't right. So I had to go and fix them and make sure they were right on her other outfits. Because I didn't realize that they had not been what I wanted. So she had to have the orange eyes. I was going with that for her whole family. And then this is her party wear. Um, pretty laid back but you know again just little details like it being tied as that cute factor so I really like that as well and then for her swimwear I give her this little bathing suit um not as cutesy as her sister or anything like that 
And then, of course, her hot weather look. Like I said, I, I love that, and so I definitely wanted to use that. And then for her cold weather, I just go with this basic look, nothing too over the top. Um, so that is my little family. And I thought about giving them a cat, and then I didn't. So they might maybe adopt a cat later on, maybe as something to make the children happy after losing their mother. Um, maybe they adopt a cat. So we'll have to we'll have to see what happens with these guys in the future. But I'm just going through and showing you their looks again real quick. I hope you guys like this video. Definitely check back on Friday. We'll, we will be creating their build. And yeah, we'll see you guys then. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.